In this video, we're going to focus on how we can make a chart responsive in Chart.js 4. You can see here we get this, and if I start to play around with it, making it smaller or extending it, it will keep the shape completely within the container. So let's start to look how to do this in Chart.js 4. So to understand how to make a chart responsive in Chart.js 4, we first need to make sure we have the boiler template, which you can find here on Chart.js3.com getting started. Once you're on here, scroll down and copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want to have the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page. And of course, got a question, put it on Discord. So what I want to do now is to really understand the responsiveness and let's look at our default. Remember, I'm using a template and in this template, I have the container here. Chart.js also recommends to always put the canvas in a container. So let's start to work from there and understand what's going on. Right now, this container, which is the chart box class, has a width of 700 pixels. This means that it is basically static and even if I move, it will not respond. So what I want to do now is just change that. I'm going to say here 50% and by the way, just to make sure you know, by default, Chart.js is responsive, but not really in the way we want it. So if I refresh this, now if I start to move, that works nicely, it's very nice responsive. However, once I extend again, we were hoping that the chart will grow bigger as well, but that will not happen. The reason why Chart.js works in such a way that the height is leading. That means that if the height doesn't extend, the width will not extend as well. So it will not be based on the width. So, and because of that, we have this weird behavior here. So the next thing what we could do then is increase the height here or give the height a percentage as well. So we're going to say here, this will be 50%. If I save this, refresh, there we are. However, if we're doing this, well, let's see this, make it smaller, make it larger, that works. However, you can see now we are having a lot of extra space here. We could say maybe to match this to 25%, probably that will look slightly better. Not really, to be honest. But the reason for that is because we have for the bar chart by default is what we call an aspect ratio and the aspect ratio is two. So the width will be twice the size of the height. So two by one. So let's start to play with that. So you have an understanding of it. So let's do a few things. First of all, in the options, you can set here responsive, but by default, chart has set this on responsive equals true. But we can confirm this to see if it's really true. And you will see here we have the same behavior. If I set this on false, you will get a different behavior where it will have a fixed width and height. And if I move that, it will overlap anything else and even goes outside of the container. So what I want to do now is make sure we have this all back to true. So we know this is correct. And let's look at the aspect ratio, which is creating the issue here for the bar chart, line chart, and scatter chart. An aspect ratio of two is standard. For the others, like a polar area chart, donut chart, and a narrator chart, we have an aspect ratio of one, which means the width and the height are equal in size, so you get a nice square. So let's start to look at that. So we say here aspect ratio, and we're going to say the aspect ratio will be one instead. Comma, save, refresh. Now, as you can see, we're getting a bit more better response, but still not very desirable. We could play around with that, changing some of these values, if ever, or changing the percentages. That would probably be the most logical thing what you could do, maybe a 0 0.5. So it will be more narrow in width, but the height will be twice the size of the width. That's basically what we're doing here. However, this doesn't work. So how can we make sure it will just cover this full container? Well, the aspect ratio controls and restricts the width and height. So by stopping that, we can control that. By default, for the bar, it is an aspect ratio of two. So how can we stop doing that? We can say here, maintain aspect ratio, and that will be set to false. So we don't want that to be maintained. 
then we will get a very flexible item here as you can see and that's basically the best way to do it to make it as responsive as possible but that would require that your container should have a thought out shape so it will not look very weird and that's it